Hollywood Spotlight, presenting an all-star review from the entertainment center of the world, Hollywood. Greetings, everybody. This is Tom Jeffrey, and we welcome you most cordially to another session of a sparkling Hollywood Spotlight Review, during which, once more, you're going to have the pleasure of hearing some of your favorite entertainers. Who are they? Let me ask them to pass in review before you. First, that robust singer of real songs of the South, Clarence Muse. Then, Phil Harris and his brilliant orchestra, featuring again a winsome bit of femininity, Leah Ray. Then, of course, our old friend, the Hollywood troubadour, Larry Burke. And this time, as an added guest star, that comical purveyor of helpless household hints and questionable recipes for the home, Tizzy Lish. <laughs> All right, when a dog bites a man, that isn't news. But when a man goes Congo, that's Muse. And I mean none other than Clarence Muse. All right, Clarence, if you please. Clarence, thank you. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I have the extreme pleasure once more of ringing up the curtain on one of our most capable orchestra leaders and his band. I mean, of course, Phil Harris and his gang of clever lads. And their tune this time, with cute Leah Ray singing the vocal portions, is It's Gonna Be You. Yes, sir. <laughs> Thank you. 
forget all I've got in my heart. It's gonna be you. It's gonna be you. You know, I never kiss, but if I ever thought it's gonna be you, it's gonna be you. Oh, honey, I could get money. I don't want money. It turns to dust. Bankers would use it only to lose it, so I don't trust. When someone gets all I've got in my heart, it's gonna be you. It's gonna be you. I could have had Valley, I could have had Crosby, and Downey too. But I didn't want Valley, and I didn't want Crosby. I just wanted you. Cause when someone gets all I've got in my heart, it's gonna be you. It's gonna be you. Well, they do say is how life is only interesting if made up of distinct contrasts. So in contrast now, we bring you that persnickety gadabout, that thief of a million hearts, Tizzy Lish. Hello, folkses and listeners. And folkses, you know, I had quite a time today. It seems some of my listeners at the hotel where I live became confused in following my advice on removing warts. And one lady applied one of my cooking recipes on the wart. She said she had a wart on her hand, and after applying what she thought was my solution that the hand is practically gone, but the wart is still there. <laughs> well, as I say, we can't have everything, can we? So as I said to her, I gave you the proper solution for warts, so what's the matter with you? <laughs> you see, I have a little distemper of my own, but everything turned out right, and I want to say that I'm just bubbling over with vitality or indigestion. I can't just figure out which. And speaking of hotels, I had quite a compliment today. A gentleman friend of mine said that I had a heart like a hotel room for everybody. <laughs> you know, I've often thought, though, of giving up this work. In fact, I was asked to and even ordered to. I do become a little discouraged, but always there is an abominable spirit in me that says, keep on until you are finished. And so I sit up practically all night drinking, thinking <laughs> of some new recipe that I can bring you. And here it is, one of my specials called hacha or hacha main, a sort of a Chinese dish. Now, this is a sort of made in bulk so to speak. So get your dish pans. Are you ready? All righty. Now sift 14 boxes of cayenne pepper in the bottom. That gives it a sort of a twang, so to speak. Are you sifting? A little faster. That's the pepper. Sneeze. Blow pepper out of panty. All right. Now put 18 bottles of Tabasco sauce. <laughs> Got it? Now sift in 21 chili peppers. Now one large bottle of essence of peppermint in order to add a little zest to it, of course. <laughs> now put this on the stove until it is red hot. Th this will serve about 200 people, I think. Now when guests arrive, serve a large portion on each plate. And as they're about to eat it, Strike them sharply on the knuckles with a stick. And when they look at you, say, did it hot you? <laughs> then go and lock yourself in your room and focus your guests will fairly beat down the door to know how you made hot you. <laughs> now I'm a scamper along. I'm going to give a cooking lesson now to some chiropodists on how to make corn fritters. <laughs> So I'll leave you, yes, I'll leave you, as the old wig makers always say at parting, to pay. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Tizzy, we'll certainly try that recipe. Yeah, on our piano. Well, never mind, Miss Lish. Larry Burke, our Hollywood troubadour, is right here, ready to sing a song dedicated just to you. All right, Larry, let's hear Stay As Sweet As You Are. Oh, yeah. 
never lose all the charm you possess. You loveliness, darling, the way you say it. Stay as sweet as you are, as sweet as you are, your divine dear. Stay as grand as you are, and as you are, tell me that you're mine, dear. Young and gay, or old and gray, near to me, 